Hi everyone, my name is John Osman. I'm a breakdance builder for WordPress user. I use that plugin quite a bit and I've had a few issues with it that were almost deal breakers. So today I found some uh, solutions to two of them and a workaround for the third one and I'd like to go through that with you. You can find the information including the code I'm going to use here at my GitHub repository, github slash John Osman slash breakdance dash issues dash zero one. I figured there might be some more in the future, so I put the zero one on there. And all this is is a readme file. There's no real code in this uh, repository. So let's go through it real quick. Um, uh, one of the, uh, there are three issues in general. I, I named them uh, issue number one, issue number 1.1, and issue number two. And one, one and 1.1 1 .1 are related, but they have different solutions. So the first one is, if you build your menus with the Breakdance Menu Builder, and include drop-down menus. The active settings that you decide on do not apply to the items in any drop-down menus. So let me demonstrate that real quick. I have a, uh, a, a breakdance site here. It's real simple. I just installed it today real quick, just a sample. I've got these pages, Home, About Us, Services, which has a drop-down list, Services for Clients, Services for, for Partners, and under Newsletter, I stuck Testimonials and FAQ. Kind of a fairly common uh, menu to build. So let's go over here to uh, Breakdance, and I have the main header open. And I guess I'm going to have to move this. I didn't think about that when I set this up. i got to see this, this structure over here. So if I um, select this uh, main menu builder here, and you can see that um, the links I have are the home and about, and here underneath uh, services is, a, is the menu dropdown. All right. So when I have the menu builder selected, if I go here to links, uh, you can see that it has an active thing, right? So if I come in here and let's just type the, the word red for the color, and that'll be just fine. I'll save that, come back to my page. I'll go ahead and uh, refresh the page with Control F5. And you see About Us is now red. If I go to Home, Home is now red. If I go to Services, Services now red, and newsletter, of course, works as well. The problem is if I go to four clients, neither is neither service nor four clients is red. It didn't apply to the, the parent or the actual uh, active page. So that, I think, is an issue. I mean, it should, it should work that way. So we're going to fix that. Uh, that's one of the things we're going to fix. Let me go back to my GitHub page here and go on to the next... The next one is, is that the, oh, well, the active uh, settings don't bubble up to the parent. That's part of it. The next one is that the mobile menu does not allow the top level menu of the drop down menu to click through to its linked page when in mobile view. The top level becomes a selector only. Let me demonstrate that for you. So here I am, uh, like, it, like it showed you, the services is a page. If I click on it, see it's a page. Or if I click on one of its sub pages, those are pages as well. But if I, uh, let me get, get away from that for a second. Now I'm in Firefox, so I can go shift Control M, M is in mobile, and get into mobile view. Now when I uh, open up the menu here in mobile view, see I can't click through to services. Services is just a, a selector, that's all it is. It's a, you know, a, a toggle. Same thing with newsletter. So even though those are pages, the user can't get to those pages in, with the mobile menu. So I have a workaround for that. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to try to make this uh, video as short as possible, and it's already going on four minutes. So let's get to it. Um, first of all, preparations. In order to solve these issues, you'll need a child theme. Now, Breakdance recommends you disable the theme and let Breakdance just take over everything, which is fine most of the time, but we're going to need a child theme. So you need to go to your settings, select Keep Your Theme, and use the breakdown zero theme. Let me show you that real quick. Coming back over here, if I go into my settings, my dashboard, come down to break, uh, breakdance settings under theme, it recommends this right here, but I'm saying for this solution, you need to keep your theme. And then there's a link here to get your breakdance zero theme. So come over here to appearance, themes. Once you've downloaded that, you know, you add a new theme, you upload it. And so here I have activated my Breakdance Zero theme. Okay, so coming back over to here. Um, now, once you have that done, then you want to open up your application in VS Code. And I have that done already. 
So here's my application in VS Code. Here's my Breakdance demo. Here's themes, Breakdance Zero Theme Master, and I've added a JS folder and a menu.js file. All right, so you're going to need to do that because we're going to need to put some JavaScript in there, and we're going to need to work with the functions file as well. So let me stay on menu.js for just a second here. All right, so that's, that's what's outlined right there. All right, so here are the solutions and workaround. That was just preparation. Issue number one, and this is an easy one, all you have to do is add this CSS to the custom CSS of the menu builder, and it'll, it'll make sure that the, um, the submenus activate in red. And notice I have the word red here, too, so you can change that to your own color. So let me just copy that, come back on over to here, go over to the Breakdance uh, header editor, select the menu builder in advanced, here in custom, get rid of all of this default stuff, and just paste this in right here. This is, I had to look, use the inspect feature of Firefox to figure it out, but that's going to change it to red. So let me save. Back over here, I'm going to go back to the front end. Now, these were already working. We showed that a moment ago. Services is working. And if I go to four clients, look, four clients is now working. If I go to four partners, that's working. And of course, it'll work the same in newsletter, but the parents aren't, it didn't bubble up to the parent and I want it to. So back to my GitHub. 1.1, this one's a bit harder. Open the menu.js file you created in VS Code and paste this code here. So let me copy it. Let me go back to VS Code and paste it in menu.js. This is some JavaScript that, you know, uses the DOM uh, inspector and gets all these breakdance, you know, drop down and so on. And, you know, I, again, I analyzed it and I had ChatGPT help me with this one. Very helpful, very useful. So that's in there. But now there's one more thing I got to do. Let me go back over here and point that out. You got to open your functions.php file and, and, you know, make sure you're enqueuing, enqueuing, I guess is the word for that, enqueuing that script. So come back over to VS Code, open up functions.php. PHP, and at the bottom, I'm going to paste that code in right there, and make sure you save both of these. Okay, so see, there's dots up there, they're not saved. So save both of those files, and now let me go back to the site. I will refresh with Control F5. I'm on four partners, and look, now the parent is done too. So if I pick clients, both service and clients is done. If I go to newsletter, newsletter is there, but... Um, the, 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 child's, the child elements aren't because they're not selected. As soon as you make one active, it becomes active as well. So all's working good. Now I need to fix that thing where I'm going to go back into mobile mode again. Oh, and by the way, that works in mobile mode too. See how newsletter is read? And if I go to services and go to like, let's say, four partners, when I open this up, services is read and four partners is read. However, I still have this problem. I can't navigate my way to services or newsletter. Oh, that drives me crazy. Why did they do that? I don't know. And I looked everywhere for a solution and there's not one built into Breakdance. This is how you got to do it. Now, this is more of a workaround rather than a solution. So I have that written right here. Issue number two, this is more of a workaround. First, you need to decide at what viewport level you're going to show your, your uh, mobile menu. That's important. So let's get over there and do that real quick. Back over here in the header. I select the menu builder here on the right, and then over here, uh, I think it's under style, you go to links, and no, where'd it go, where'd it go, <laughs> drop downs, oh no, I know what it is, I'm sorry, it, you go to mobile menu right here, so you select menu builder here, and then here in menu builder, you say show at, and I usually like to do it at phone landscape. You know, because I usually keep my menus fairly short and, and uh, tight, so there's no reason for it to show up at tablet, even tablet portrait. But when you go to phone landscape, now you're going to get a, a mobile menu. Okay, so let's save that. Go back over here to my, my GitHub. All right, so I got that done. And I need to remember that portrait landscape. Oh, no, sorry, phone landscape. Portrait landscape, that didn't even make sense. All right, so now you need to go to the drop-down menu where you want to apply this workaround, and you need to add a new column 
You could add it to the first column if you have multiple columns. So sorry, I didn't mean to say add a new column. In whatever, you have to have at least one column in these dropdowns. And so in whatever column you have, either the one column that's there or if you have multiples, go to the first one and add a new link that has the same link as the top level. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so here's the menu dropdown. Now, we're not, we're not on the whole menu builder. We're on the dropdown that's having a problem. I'm going to do the services one first. So when you go here to the, the content area, see here's my, my one and only column, and I'm going to add a link down here, and I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it services page. That way, to me, that seems like it'll make sense to the reader. You know, services is here, but then when they open it up, it'll say services page. And I want it to uh, go to the same URL, which is, of course, my services page. Not, the, not e either one of the sub pages, but the top level page. So let me close that up, and then let me make sure I drag that to the top. That's important. That way it looks like that, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing over here to this one. This is the newsletter. Here's the column, I open that up, I add a link, I'm going to make that newsletter, newsletter page. To me that makes sense, you can call it whatever you want, but I, it wouldn't make sense to say newsletter and then newsletter. That would just be, your reader would go, what, what is he doing here? What, what the heck's going on? Okay, now let me find my newsletter, it's right there. So there's my link to it, and then I want to make sure I drag it to the top. So it looks like that. Good. Now I save that. Back over here to GitHub. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, copy this code and paste it into the menu.js uh, file as well. All right. So coming over here back to VS Code, back to menu.js, and after the stuff I already did, I'm going to paste this code in right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to um, find everything where, okay, by the way, you see you have a, 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 an array up here, right? So I have services page here and newsletter page. Whatever you called yours, you'll have to put those in that array there. And then it'll loop through that array and find them, and it'll add the class hide menu item to those items. Okay? So we're doing good. We're doing well. Uh, oh, let me save that. I, I do that a lot. I, I forget to save. So oh, I didn't save. There you go. Now it's saved. The dot went away. All right. So back over here. Now, the next thing we need to do, and this is important, you have to make sure you're at the desktop level when you go back to that custom CSS area that we were in before. I'm going to copy this CSS. I'm going to come over to here. Now, I'm at the desktop level. That's very important. Go to the menu builder. Go to the advanced CSS. We've already been here before, but we're going to paste something else in there now, too. What we're going to do is anything that has hide menu item, it's going to be display none. Now, here's where it gets tricky. You go to the place where you uh, have your menu, your mobile menu kicking in, which for me is phone landscape, and then you paste something slightly different. You paste this one. It's almost the same thing, but now you're setting it back to inherit. Okay, so here, and, and you got to get rid of the default stuff because we haven't been here yet. You know, we haven't been here for this level yet. All right, so I save that. And now, oops, kind of pokey on me. It's not saving quick enough. Okay, there you go. Now I go back here, and let me get out of mobile view for a second so I can refresh my page with Control F5. And now I'll go ahead and get back into mobile view. That's Shift Control M. M is in mobile. And now if I open this up, you see there's a services page there, right? So this still is a, 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 a just an opener, but the workaround is that and they can now get to the services page. Same thing with the newsletter. They open this up, and they can go to the newsletter page. And, of course, the red thing is still working, too. Now, if I get out of mobile view and come up here, you see... Oh, sorry. I don't know why it's not flowing. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, so you see four uh, the services page is, is being hidden now. It's right there, but it's being displayed none. So when you're not in mobile view, it doesn't display. You don't need it because you can click through in the desktop menu. See, here I'm on services. Here I'm on my newsletter, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that about wraps it up, trying to keep the uh, video short. So just to wrap it up, um, find my GitHub, github.com slash John Osmond slash breakdance dash issues dash 01. So I hope that helps you out, and uh, let me know in some comments and what, whatever you, what you think.